Hello and welcome to this week's new makeup releases. My name is Rachel. Welcome if you are new here and if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. This is a weekly series where I talk about all the new makeup that is being sneak peeked, launched, released, all of that. And I give you my thoughts. And of course, I wanna hear your thoughts on the new releases as well. I will link everything I can down below in the description box, including release date information, pricing information, the Instagram accounts I pull from, it's all down in the description box. Everything that is on my face will be in a pinned comment and let's do it. So last week we talked about Blend Buddy changing their logo on their Instagram account, which usually means, well, it always means, something new is launching from the brand and they did show their next collection. So this is in collaboration with Ellis Atlantis, who I actually had never heard of prior to seeing this collaboration. Ellis Atlantis is the winner apparently of Glow Up season one, which was like a reality show competition. I'd heard of the show, but I've never seen it where there's different makeup artists that compete. So Ellis was the winner of season one. And this is a huge deal for both Ellis and Blend Bunny in my opinion. The collection is pretty large. Like there's quite a few things in the collection, which is so exciting. We do have an eyeshadow palette, which is a big one. now. I did get this collection in PR, which I'm so thankful for. I received almost everything in the collection. I received the eyeshadow palette, the blush palettes, the cheek glaze, but I did not receive the individual lashes, which I might buy them because I do love me an individual like cluster lash. Volume one eye and face palette. It's gonna retail for $66, which I think is a good deal. It's freaking huge. Let me grab it. A few moments later. So this is the unit carton. And this is the outside of the palette. And then on the inside, we have this massive rainbow palette. Now, I have not filmed with this. I literally just got it in the mail yesterday before I ran out to go to work. By the time you're seeing this, I still probably even haven't used this because I am going away for the weekend, but I am planning to film with this. I won't get this out in time for the launch. It is launching on Sunday, the 21st. I do have a code with Blend Money and it's Rachel. It is affiliated if you wanna save some money on your purchase. Thank you so much if you do decide to use my code. But like just looking at this, obviously the first thing that comes to my mind is it's giving me blends, like the blends palette but there is a row in the middle of shimmers and they look like they're iridescent shimmers. Very excited to play with this. And there's a beautiful mirror with a picture of Ellis here. Love that. So very excited to play with this. Stay tuned. Maybe I'm gonna have a video early next week. That's my goal. We have two blush palettes. These look beautiful. One of them is a little bit more warm leaning, which is this one in solar flare dimension. <gasps> All three of the, like, Look at my lip, you get the vibe. So I'm excited for that. They look like all matte blushes. I really love the Blend Bunny blush palettes. I think they're great. And then there is one that's a little more pinky. This is Lunar Eclipse Dimension palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous, quite large pans. So I don't ever, well, I'm never gonna pan a blush anyway, let's be real. And then we have the Celestial Cheek Glaze. The blush palettes, by the way, retail for 26 each which I think is very reasonable. Then we have the cheek glaze for 16. Now this says it's a high intensity cheek glaze, delivers an instant flush of pink radiance with a formula that applies like a powder that gives you the appearance of a glimmering star. Okay, interesting, like a, like a highlighter basically is what they're saying, but it is pink. That's what the packaging looks like. And it looks like just a really pretty pink highlighter with some gold reflect in there. Looking forward to trying this out. And then, like I said, there is like these cluster lashes, three individual lashes on a band. Starburst Lush, Cla that's hard to say. Starburst La Lash Clusters. <laughs> these individual clusters add drama and dimension to every eye look, stack them, layer them, wear them how you want for that personalized touch, $12. So like I said, the, the collection is launching on April 21st at 12 p.m. Central Time. I'm so looking forward to playing with these products. Thank you so much, Blend Bunny, for sending them my way. And congratulations, Ellis. I would love to know, are you an Ellis fan? Are you gonna pick up anything from the collection? Let me know. Melt Cosmetics has released a new collection. They, I don't know if they do every year, but they have in the past released collections every 420. And the day that you're watching this is 420. So they have released their Smoke Sessions 2 collection. It includes an eyeshadow palette for $48, 
The So High Mascara for $24. It's a waterproof mascara. Two Metal Eyes, which is like a, I'm guessing a cream shadow type of thing for $26 each. Two Gel Eyeliners for $22 each. Nail Decals for $4.20. Neon Crossbody Sling Bag for $39. And a Jersey Long Sleeve for $38. It is already available now at Sephora and at their website, so I will link it down below. I have only ever bought one, oh, that's a lie. I bought two palettes from Melt Cosmetics. I, be, I bought their last year, I think it was the last year's 420 release, the Electrip palette, which I thought was just okay. And on recommendation from you guys, I did actually buy the Brunette palette. I am actually wearing a couple of mattes from the Brunette palette on my eyes today, but I've not really had a chance to use it yet. All that to say, I don't really purchase from the brand that often. So this isn't something that like really piqued my interest. And definitely after looking at the swatches, it's a monochromatic purple palette. I've got plenty of those in my collection. And of course I love purple, but I, I don't really feel like it was special enough for me to go out of my way to buy it. But I would love to know if you're a Melt Cosmetics fan, because I know there's a lot of people out there that absolutely love Melt Cosmetics. And I don't, at least the people that I subscribe to or watch, I don't really see many people getting PR from Melt Cosmetics, but my friend Linda from Glitter Fallout did actually receive this collection in PR and I will link her video down below. She did a video using the collection. So I will link it down below if you're curious to see it in action. She's, she's kind of the only person at, at least in my subscription box that I saw get this collection in PR. But yeah, um, let me know your thoughts. Of course, I always love hearing your thoughts. I'm definitely gonna skip out on this one, but I will link it down below if you wanna check it out. NYX Cosmetics apparently is releasing a buttermilk blush. So I did purchase the buttermilk bronzer. I have been using it. Actually, I'm quite liking it. It's a very pigmented powder bronzer. And if they have a blush version, I'm absolutely going to be picking it up. I can't, I can't say no to a powder blush, especially from the drugstore, especially if it's a matte blush, like I'm there for it. Now this is literally just a screenshot of someone holding it up. So obviously someone found it in the, in a store or they got it in PR or something like that, but it just says, oh, it says on the right at Mr. Ken, I don't know who this is. Oh, it's a Australian creator, Ken Valdejueza. Hope I'm saying that right. Spotted it at a recent NYX event. Early info, but will be in the same packaging as the buttermilk bronzer coming soon. I will keep you posted, but you know that if it comes out around here in the US, like I'm buying it, like I'm buying it. Did you pick up the buttermilk bronzer? Are you liking it? Let me know. Another major release in my opinion this week is the ColourPop and Beauty and the Beast collection. They like sneak peeked it and launched it very quickly, which they have been doing lately. And this collection honestly looks so beautiful. I would really be, I'm, I'm on the fence if I wanna buy this or not, cause it looks so pretty. Actually, I think I am gonna buy it. Who am I kidding? I feel like I'm gonna have FOMO if I don't get this. I like honestly everything in the collection. Everything looks so beautiful. So of course we have an eyeshadow palette and this eyeshadow palette looks so pretty. It's a neutral palette with a couple of pops of blue, a pop of yellow, which is very Beauty and the Beast. The palette retails for $22. Then we have two pressed powder blushes. The blushes look so pretty, like both colors look so incredibly beautiful. One is like a pink and one is more of like a rosy brown. So beautiful. Two Lux lipstick and ultra glossy lip duos for $18 each. Again, both of the lip duos in my opinion look beautiful. Super Shock Highlighter for $15 and an Enchanted Rose Lip Mask for $12. I probably would skip on the highlighter and the lip mask, but I might pick up one of the lip kits, the blushes and the, pal and the palette. I'm thinking, did you pick this up? It already launched. I will link it down below if you're interested. I might give myself like a couple days to think about it. That's what I've been trying to do, not impulse buy. Like, let me think about it for a couple days, but I'm leaning towards yes. <laughs> I watched Beauty and the Beast as a kid, loved it. I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorite Disney movies, but I definitely have a soft spot for it. It definitely gives me nostalgic feels and the collection looks really pretty. All right, let's talk about this release from Charlotte Tilbury, okay? I, I can't. Charlotte Tilbury is releasing a fragrance collection, which great, makes sense. It does, it makes sense to me. Six invisible superpowers 
for everyone everywhere. She's serious. World-renowned perfumers, great. Cutting-edge technology, great. Science, great. 40 years of research, okay. Theory of color, numerologists, and the most extraordinary olfactive symphony of ingredients. Powered by emotion-boosting molecules, their user trial proven to enhance feelings of love, happiness, seduction, calm, energy, and empowerment. I mean, that, in my opinion, fragrance does that anyway. Like, that's not something crazy, like revolutionary. I mean, I know that when I smell things, it brings me back to a certain time. I just feel like the the marketing of this is a little gimmicky. And I guess what she's saying is like, she's designed each perfume to give you those emotions, which is like, yeah, but that's like what perfumes have been doing. Right? That's what they've been doing forever. I don't know. I, I, whatever. Anyway, it, apparently it's going to be launching on April 30th if you're interested. It just says that there is a wait list. The wait list closes on April 26th. Now I did see Lee Janae talk about these. Did she upload a sh like a short form content video or a, I don't know, I'll investigate and I'll link it down below. You guys know I'm not a perfume girl, like I'm not a scent girl. I wear this Sol de Janeiro perfume every day. It's not even a perfume, it's a body spray. So I'm not the one to ask about scents. Uh, I just, you know, I'm not that person, but let me know your thoughts on this. I would love to know, okay? Um, I'd be interested to smell them. It's not something that I'm like, dying to go out and just like make sure I make a point to smell them. But like if I'm out somewhere at a Sephora and they're there, I'll smell them. Um, I don't, at the moment of filming, I don't have pricing information. Of course, let me know your thoughts. Are you excited about this? I know a lot of people probably are, okay? A lot of people probably are, but let me know your thoughts. DD Signature is sneak peeking their next release. I'm excited for it. This seems right up my alley. This is the ultimate cappuccino eyeshadow palette and not to sound basic or anything, but I live, breathe and die for coffee as a lot of you do, I'm sure. <laughs> so anything that's like centered around coffee, I'm there. Like I'm ready, I'm ready for it. And not only that, like I love neutrals and I have a feeling there's gonna be some neutrals in here. On their Instagram, they did upload a reel sneak peeking one of the rows. That is all I know at the time of filming. And it is a row of really beautiful shimmers. And the shimmers look really pretty. They don't look all neutral. Like there's like one pop of almost like a teal green, one pop of an orange. So absolutely gonna see what this is about. If I don't get it in PR, probably gonna buy it because I do really enjoy the DD Signature formula. And like I said, this whole concept is really calling to me for sure. All it says is that it's coming soon. I don't have any pricing or release date information, but of course I will keep you posted. Okay, so Benefit is releasing a new product. This is the Benefit Splash Tint and Plush Tint, $24 each. The plush tint is a matte finish stain, I guess, or like a liquid lipstick in 12 shades. And the splash tint is a dewy gloss finish in 12 shades. These look cute. They look very old school benefit, in my opinion, the packaging. They are available now, so I will link them down below. I will say like, just looking at the swatches, there's not really much variety. Like they look like there's a lot of reds and pinks, not even a lot of nude shades, which to me is kind of interesting. I would think they would wanna release some nude shades at least. I'm not really interested in this, but I just wanted to mention it because it caught my eye. Apparently this was available in Asia first and then it's now coming to the US. But um, I am wearing a liquid lipstick today, but I will say I don't really often wear liquid lipsticks unless I'm wearing a bold color like this. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't really reach for liquid lipsticks that often. Let me know if you do, if you're a liquid lipstick lover. I know there's a lot of people out there that really enjoy them and I get why, like they stay put, they aren't moving. But in terms of comfort level, I just prefer a gloss. Like nine times out of 10, I'm wearing a gloss over a lip liner lately. That's what I've been going for. So for liquid lipsticks, the only time I'm really gonna buy a liquid lipstick is if it's from a brand that I love, like Unearthly Cosmetics. Like I'm gonna buy their liquid lipsticks when they come out with them in a collection or Blend Bunny or, you know what I mean? Like those brands, I'll take one for the team, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy a liquid lipstick. And in terms of the gloss here, I don't really need another gloss, not a $24 gloss. 
I got so many already. So I'm all set, but I will link them down below. Last thing I wanna talk about is just a really quick update at the moment of filming, okay? This could change by the time you're seeing this. Things happen quickly in the beauty space. On Earthly Cosmetics, Spring Magic Collection has been restocked for pre-order. I did just upload a video yesterday, which I will link down below, using the products on camera and I had so much fun. The collection is absolutely beautiful, spoiler alert. And I did say in that video that they did bring the collection back for pre-order, but it's not gonna ship till I think mid to end May. So there's gonna be a little bit of a waiting period. Just know that going in. I believe the highlighters and the lip glosses are available for purchase now, like not through pre-order, but the palette, the blush palette and the whole collection bundle is available for pre-order. You can use my affiliate code Rachel to save on their website if you would like to do that. But I really, really love, love the collection. Go ahead and check out my video if you haven't seen it yet. All right, and that is it for this new makeup releases. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on any of the new makeup releases that I talked about or any of the ones I didn't talk about. Because if you are new here, I don't talk about every single new makeup release that launches. I curate it down to the things that I have an opinion on, basically. So let me know what you're excited about this week because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.